Wilson County today, the results of a closed door school board meeting going on all day long discussing the superintendent. No action was taken as a result of the special called meeting, echoing a similar situation from January. Well, it has been contentious between the Nelson County School Board and some community members. The board is currently moving forward with the decision to merge the county's middle schools. Earlier this month, board members moved to end a meeting early because of disruption caused by the community. WHAS 11's Ian Hardwood and photojournalist Alyssa Newton were at that meeting today as the board went into executive session. At a special called meeting of the Nelson County School Board, people came with concerns Superintendent Wes Bradley could lose his job. This mirrors a similar incident with another special called meeting back in January where the board decided the same thing. No action taken, which means no new info. Yeah, really special, huh? It took this crowd five hours to hear the results of the Nelson County School Board's executive session. Around 70 people gathered. Many concerns Superintendent Wes Bradley's job is in jeopardy. No action was taken. Do we have a motion to adjourn? The closed door meeting agenda reveals just a little about what the board discussed, pending legal action, the superintendent's performance, and the employment status of a district employee. We went up to board chair Amanda Deaton once the hours long meeting finished. Excuse me, board member Deaton, will be taking any questions today? Thank you. All right, thank you very much. But without a clear direction in Nelson County Schools, some people are frustrated. Julia Coy, who retired from the district, is one of them. All we hear is rumor and innuendo, uh, and we won't know the truth till they make a decision. Uh, but my heart is with the kids, and my heart is with, Les, uh, with Wes Bradley because he's so loved by so many people. Rebecca Hutchins, mother of a Thomas Nelson High student, agrees. He has the best vision in mind for what our community's children and educators need. Several of those educators showed their support for Bradley last October when they gathered in Bardstown City Center protesting a merger of the county's high schools. Mergers proposed by the board go against previously approved community campus plans, which would put middle school wings at each high school. A lawsuit filed by parent group Nelson County Ford seeks to put the board back on the path to the community campus. At the last hearing for that lawsuit, NC Ford's attorney asked a judge to protect Superintendent Wes Bradley's job, but the judge denied it. With all the chaos, Coy wants one thing above all else. Agreement for nothing but what's best for the kids and is equal for the kids. The only consensus we see is in action. In Nelson County, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. The next regularly scheduled board meeting for Nelson County Schools is March the 12th at 6 p.m. That'll be held at Cox's Elementary School.